Good evening guys. Welcome back to Double J Outdoors. It is Memorial Day weekend. So that means lots of fishing. We plan on putting a trot line in front of the house again. As you can see my buddy Aaron's here. We just got him a perch that we'll be putting on the trot line. Uh, we'll see what that produces. We're not very familiar with this lake in terms of where the catfish like to hide, but hopefully we'll, we'll get them. It's gonna be a great weekend. Y'all stay tuned. The trot line that'll be going in front of the house, we're actually gonna put in a different spot this time. You guys may not be able to see me too well. It's kind of getting a little dark, but, so what we're doing is connecting to the end of my Mimi's boat dock on the other side from last weekend. And we're gonna run it right over there to the black gate. Trot line is out in front of the house. Wish us luck. Uh, all we used was perch. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, folks. 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Our trot line was skunked. I believe that we will find the catfish and we will get them. So, y'all stay tuned. Just did some seining. We're gonna do it again, but I'm gonna do an in-water view. Our first seine net was pretty successful. We're gonna do it again. All right, guys, you won't be able to hear me too well, but here goes nothing. Change of plans, guys. I got a minor inconvenience with the bass boat. And so we're just gonna stay local with the trot line. And so we moved our trot line to the same spot that we had it last weekend. And we'll see if it brings us any luck. We've had, we got plenty of fish for a fish fry tomorrow, but see if we can add to it. Currently baiting our hooks, adding hooks to the line, I should say. Getting our line ready for the afternoon into the evening hours, into the overnight hours. Hopefully we have better luck than last night. We're using perch, live perch, I should say. Should be a, a good evening. I have a good feeling about it. I really do. I think we're gonna, I think we're going to catch a monster flathead. Let's see how things play out. Third hook one. Finish wrapping up for the day. So Aaron and I are gonna wind down, enjoy this evening, and hopefully wake up to some nice catfish on our trot line. Uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Sunday morning, 6 a.m. 
Time to go check the lines. Flathead. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, we got two big ones right here. Okay. Nice. We got another one right there that's. There you go. Nice! There's another one about the same size. Yeah. And another one up there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That one's bigger. Another flathead. Oh, he's double hooked. swimming in this water. I told you that well, we got these eventually we were going to make some, a haul. That's some big catfish. Not our biggest that we've ever caught. It's just but. nice to catch some good size fish. Check this out guys. Three big flathead catfish on one pull. We've never done that in our trot line experience. Just so y'all know how big these are. We'll go from smallest to largest. That's probably about a, I don't know, 12, 15 pounds. This one definitely got some more weight to it. Maybe 20. These teeth are digging into me. The big one. He may go 30, 35. Yeah. 30, 35, baby. Oh yeah. No scale. That's what we trot line for right there. It's that time of the evening to get our trot line baited. So we're gonna rehook this thing. Get some perch, potentially minnows, and go from there. I'm really excited from last night to see what happens later this evening and into the morning hours. Our goal is another 30 or 40 pound catfish this time. Our biggest one this morning was 26 pounds. Now we got to beat that at 30 in terms of setting a goal for in front of the house. Getting to the end of our little 10 hook trot line.
guys. That's it. We'll see how things play out. Good morning. Monday morning. Happy Memorial Day to all. Just checked our trot line. Got stumped. But those three that we caught yesterday morning definitely made up for a stump line. Now is the time of the morning where we dump all of our bait out. We get our trot line out of the water and then we clean any remaining fish that we still have, which we still have the three big catfish and then we've got that smaller channel cat that was caught on Saturday morning. We're on the last section of getting this trot line out of the water. Got our hooks in, all of our jugs are in. Now just to untie it off this metal post. And the trot line is officially wrapped up. As they always say, all good things come to an end. And Memorial Day weekend fishing trip has officially came to an end. I hate to say that, but I had a heck of a time. Absolutely love trot line fishing for these giant catfish. Uh, you guys stay tuned for future content because there's going to be more of that coming up. Y'all guys have a good week, and I'll see y'all on the next one.